Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Drawing Comics with Chom. And today, what we're going to be doing is, I'm going to be showing you how to draw some basic shapes. Okay. So, I think we'll start today by, let's see, let's try and draw a cat. So for a cat, you usually start off with your basic shapes, so your circles. And this is just to help you get back into the rhythm of drawing. And there's also, of course, the ears, triangles, and then, uh, let's see. I put the tail over here. Don't worry about the tail at the moment. We're just building up the proportions. And of course, don't forget the back legs as well. I might actually, I might actually leave the You leave the tail to last. Okay, so you can see it's taken the form of a cat. And of course, you start off, you can conti continue on, like making the shapes look more like body parts. try and make the shapes a little bit more refined. And you can rub out parts that you're not happy with and draw over. Do -do. to fix this part. <laughs> Even I make mistakes. For, your, for the cat's nose, Meow. for the cat's nose, you have triangle whiskers. Actually, give him a nice mouth with his tongue sticking out. <laughs> Let's just try and fix the whiskers. for the tail. You can put it kind of, you can put it over here. And see, what would be the best place? Maybe here. There you go. Yeah, maybe that's a bit better there. <laughs> Very 
large cat with a large body. <laughs> and we can do the same with other animals as well. Let's see what else. Let me try with a dog. Again, start off with your basic shapes. Use your rectangles, circles, and circles to try and make the shape of the animal that you want to draw. tail have his give him a nice tail so he's wagging his tail because he's dying for a walk <laughs> hmm. that kind of looks more like a cat there maybe like a big circle for his nose and maybe have his tongue sticking out like that <laughs> hi there I'm a dog. I want to. I want to go for a walk. <laughs> That's what my dog's like all the time. He's always dying for a walk. Then your ears again. Draw your circles or your. I suppose they're kind of no, not circles, but they're not ovals either. But they're these type of shapes here. And again, you can have. Give him like a. An eye here and. What's that called? Like have a bit of shadow over his eye? Let me fix that eye a bit there. Give him a better eye. It kind of reminds me from Cat Dog. Of the dog part from the Cat Dog cartoon I grew up watching as a kid. <laughs> And of course, similar to the cat, again, you kind of make this upside down M shape for the dog's paws. And then do the same. Just adding in a bit more detail here. Maybe if you want to show his, do his tail wagging, maybe kind of draw these lines to kind of show some movement. I'll try and draw over them so you can see. you can start kind of drawing over it give more detail when you're happy with it you can start drawing over it give more detail and uh, maybe start coloring it in and then drawing over it maybe with drawing pen and marker to try and make it more permanent and more refined something else now maybe one more one more drawing and then in part 
two. We'll do a couple of more drawings. Let's see. Um, how about a bike? So with a bike, again, you have your circles. And then you start drawing your lines. mistake here. It's no worry. We all make mistakes. This way, maybe have, yeah, the, the arms of the bike like there. And I think that is kind of the basic shape of a bike. <laughs> you can always look at an image anyway if you're a bit stuck of what a bike should actually look like look like in terms of when you're drawing it. And then of course they have I can't remember what those things are called, but you have these things kind of where the bike or the wheels are. in a little bit of detail. And try and make it a bit more refined. And then when you want to, add in more detail, maybe even start colouring it in. Maybe before you colour it in, maybe get your drawing pen, or a marker, or any type of pen. You just And then just add in extra detail. There, just giving it a bit of a horn, or drawing a bit of a horn there. Okay, so what we've drawn is, we've drawn a cat and a dog, and we've drawn a bicycle. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed this quick um, 5 to 10 minute uh, drawing session with Sean, I'm just drawing basic shapes. And we'll continue on part two in the next video. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to Drawing Comics with Sean. And I hope to see you in the next video.